The details of the BC speculation tax had just been released. Find out what you need to know about the tax coming up next. Hi, this is Alex Lam from Royal Pacific Realty in Vancouver and this is Canadian Content. A. Eh? If you're new here, hello and welcome. I talk about everything real estate in the Vancouver area with new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that subscribe button that little bell because being a smart savvy consumer is a good idea. Eh? Many British Columbians own secondary homes. Watch this video as I go over 8 things you should know about the speculation and vacancy tax. Number 1. The secondary home must be rented out for a period of a minimum of 6 months per year. Number 2. This tax is an Airbnb deterrent. Since most short term rentals are for periods for under 30 days, this new tax basically eliminates Airbnb from most of BC. Number 3. Yearly declaration is necessary to avoid paying this tax on your primary residence. Number 4. BC islands are exempted from the tax. The areas must be accessible by bridge. Reserve lands, treaty lands, and lands of self-governing indigenous nations are also not part of the taxable region. Number 5. This tax does not stop real estate speculation. So you are free to purchase real estate and flip it for a profit. Example condo pre-sales and assignment of contracts. Number 6. Municipalities have been rejected the option to opt out of the speculation tax. Meaning locations such as Kelowna that depend on Alberta buyers can see their real estate market start to suffer. Number 7. How is this tax calculated? For BC residents and permanent residents who live in BC with a high world income and paying very little BC income tax, they'll be charged 0.05%. For owners who are Canadian citizens and permanent residents who do not live in BC, the tax is 1% of the assessed value minus a credit of $6,000 for a $800,000 Vancouver condo. For owners who are foreign investors or part of satellite families, the tax is 2% of the assessed value minus the credit or $14,000 for a $800,000 condo. Number 8. Condos with rental restrictions are exempted from this tax. There are many other exemptions which I will link up in the description below. So there you have it, the 8 things you should know about the speculation and vacancy tax. If you have any questions about this topic, please feel free to reach out to me. If you're interested in selling a home in Vancouver, please watch my playlist over here. Question of the day, what do you think of the BC speculation and vacancy tax? Should the Green Party and Liberals vote it down? Please leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to personally answer all the comments myself. As always, please like, share and subscribe and become a smart savvy consumer. I make educational videos every Tuesday and videos every Friday. This is Alex from Vancouver and thanks so much for watching this video. Hey. Eh?